it's coming home, apparently. Football's coming home, and if you don't get that reference, it's from a song called Three Limes that was released in 1996 for Euro 96, and then a different version in 98 for um, the 1998 World Cup. In both instances, football didn't come home to England. But because England are doing very well in the World Cup at the moment, uh, that slogan, it's coming home, is fucking everywhere. It's also the anthem of the drunk dickhead. The reason I'm doing this video is last night I was driving home at eight o'clock and there were two men in their England shirts jumping up and down on a table outside a pub shouting it's coming home and England weren't even playing so I can only assume they're practicing their celebrations now I'm not a football fan as I've been keen to stress uh, but yeah it's great that England doing well people are quite positive but I'm nervous again about the uh, semi-final against I think it's Croatia although to be honest it could be fucking Narnia or I wouldn't know any different and that's because on Saturday the dark side of football came out and it's not the game itself, it's a very small minority of fans who always bring trouble to big tournaments. It's something I really find disturbing. And on Saturday when England beat Sweden, this is important, England won the game, there were some instances around the UK or around England, not the UK, um, of football related trouble and the papers say things got a bit out of hand they didn't fucking get out of hand it went out of control in london something that's gone viral is an image of a woman jumping on a first response unit car basically this is a lady and some of her male friends were caught doing as well jumping on a fucking ambulance the vehicle that is there solely to protect people like that in case they get injured and they've written the fucking thing off how thick do you have to be and in nottingham which is uh, not far from me actually a taxi driver had to be rescued by the police after a group of fans started jumping on his fucking taxi and if you've seen the pictures it's destroyed and it's not just you've destroyed a bloke's car, that's his fucking livelihood. And I bet his insurance doesn't cover, well, what happened was a load of drunk people in football shirts started jumping on it. Also in Nottingham, a load of bus shelters were smashed. And uh, this is really fucking bizarre. Because there were so many people in the street, the trams couldn't run. So some of these fans again started punching and kicking the trams. What mentality are you where you go, I'll attack public transport because my football team has won? For fuck's sake. And these are people who claim to be patriotic. They claim to love their country. If you love it that much, stop fucking smashing it up. And it's only football that has this fucking problem. I mean, Wimbledon's on at the minute. I doubt there are riot police down there in case, you know, oh, Roger Federer, he dropped a set. Fucking hell, there's been an almighty tear up around Wimbledon. And I'm a rugby fan, I'm one of these guys. I don't like football, I like rugby, which is an inherently violent sport. But I have watched games between England and Scotland in a pub with England and Scotland fans. And whatever the result is, there isn't violence, there's lots of shaking hands and your team played very well there. Good, uh, well done. So I don't get this, why there's this tiny minority of cunts who have to ruin football for everyone, including people like me who aren't even fucking interested in it. Another pet hate of mine is this fucking, and this is just a general football thing, people saying, we're playing well, aren't we? We've got a really good chance this year. Unless you're a professional fucking footballer, you have no influence on it. You are not playing well. The football team is playing well. Shut the fuck up. So anyway, tomorrow in the semi-finals, I'll get in the spirit of things. And uh, if all goes to plan and England do win and get into the World Cup final, you'll find me in the city centre burning down a fucking hospital.